Hey, how's it going? Ah, it could be better. I could not be here, you know. But, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, where is she? In room three? Um, give me a few minutes to talk to her, um, before you can get us, would you? I just, I, I think I might be able to, I might be able to say something that might be able to stop this from happening again, but it needs to be in the right circumstances, you know? It needs to stick. That, like, this is not good, you know? Yeah. Alright, thanks. Like, like, give me, like, f five minutes, no more. Alright, thank you so much. I appreciate this a lot. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. I mean... It's okay. Just, um... Just sit down, okay? Because um, they're not gonna be back to to get us out of here for like five minutes. They need to like clear you or something. So what happened? How, how did how did this happen again? I thought we were we were done with this. You know, the partying, all, all of that. Like, w what happened to the conversation we had? Like, I thought we were supposed to be, like, bettering our lives or whatever. That was, like, the whole reason we broke up. And now I find out that you're, you, you literally haven't changed. Yeah, I know I look great. It's because I did what we said we were both going to do. I wasn't lying about my end. Look, even if you weren't lying, how, how the fuck did this happen? Like, how did you end up in here? I just... I don't even know how to respond to that. Do you understand, like... Listen. You, you know that I will always love you. Like, always, always. You know, I never wanted to break up. But... Me... You know that I, I have such a genuine emotion for you. So when I say this to you, you, you know I want nothing but better for you. So please, just bear with me when I say this. Bro, you're a fucking idiot. Like, you're an idiot, man. What the fuck are you doing? Seriously. Like, what, what if your parents find out? There's like... An incredible amount of shit that could be wrong with this. Do you understand that? Do you understand how much, like, how big of a deal this actually is? Like, you're in jail. <laughs> you may not be in real jail, but you're in holding. Which is like, means you got arrested. Which is like, not good this time. What do I think you should do? I, I think you should do exactly what you said that you were going to do. Like what we talked about. Like that the partying stops, the, the drinking stops. Just, just, I'm getting flustered. But, you know what? We, we can talk about this more on the way home. Well, yeah, I'm going to take you home. Where else am I supposed to take you? I I don't know if that's a good idea. Fine. 
fine. You can come back to my place. But only for tonight. Okay. Does that make you feel a bit better? Okay. I'm gonna go see if they're ready to let us out of here. Because I'm starting to feel like I'm a fucking prisoner. Give me one second. Stuff they, they give it all back to you. Purse, keys, your phone. Okay. Uh, I warn you now, we're gonna have to walk. Yeah, I mean, they called me at work, so I didn't really have much other way of getting here. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. They, they they won't miss me for like a few hours. So it's no big deal. But I I do have to go back to work when we get to my place. You you know that right? Like I I can't stay with you. As much as I'd like to, I there's just no way. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. You do get free reign of the apartment again. It's been a while since you've been there, huh? Nah, everything's pretty much the same. Um, aside from like some weights and that fridge being pretty empty, uh, everything's pretty much the same. Yeah. That's, that's, that's such a hard question to ask me. Because I can't. I can't better yourself for you. Like, trust me. Look. The first day I seen you, like, the first day I seen your eyes and I, and I looked at you and, and you talked to me, I was just so infatuated with you because I had never spoken to anyone like you before. You, you stimulated me both, like on a romantic and an intelligent, like an intelligent level, you know, like, I, I didn't only like you because of the way you looked, you know, I just, I just liked everything about you, like, I just, I wanted you to talk to me more and more and more, I just always wanted to be talking to you, there was just, there was something about you that just drew me in. And once I was there, I never wanted to leave. You know, so I, I got stuck. Because all I wanted was happiness for you. That I kind of forgot that I needed my own. Um, if that makes sense. But I, I really do believe that I, I've i matured a lot in the last year. A lot of shit has happened to me that uh, I'm sure we'll talk about. Um, but it's just, to put it simply, no matter how much I love you, I can't, I can't fix you. It, it has to be something that you do on your own. But that's not to say that I can't be by your side helping you along the way the whole time. But if if you want this, this is it has to be something that you want for yourself and that you're prepared to do. So if you want to do this and you want to you want to you know stop this lifestyle and and you really want to improve yourself and and become goal orientated and, and you know like worry about your future and what you're gonna do and and everything if, if that's something you're seriously thinking about I will help you I will I will help you 
I will never turn you down if you come to me asking for help. But if we're just going to keep going in this circle, that ultimately it's just like we're both bound to get hurt if if what happens last time happens again. Because I, I can't, I'm not going to play these games anymore. Okay. Okay. I love you too. You don't gotta thank me. I, I promise you, you don't have to thank me. If, if you want to thank me, thank me by showing me that you can do this, okay? Alright, I'm, I'm your number one cheerleader, okay? I'm right here. I'm gonna be on the sidelines watching you the whole time. Alright, this is it. Yeah, I know it's fucking super dark out. Yeah, the button, the code's still the same. Alright, so I'm probably gonna have to head back to work as soon as we get up there. Because, like, I can't, really can't be gone for very long. But I was not gonna let you walk home from there by yourself. That's just ridiculous. I already told you, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You don't need to thank me. I think there's food in the fridge. Um, it might not be something great pretty sure there's milk in there so you can make yourself some cereal if you're hungry and then i'll bring something home when i get off okay try not to freak out try not to overthink just to hang out and try to relax a bit and i will be back in approximately two hours and 45 minutes maybe a little longer depending on what you want on to our next topic what do you want? Well, you know what's by my work. Okay. Just your, your normal order? Of course I remember. Are you kidding me? Okay. That sounds good. I will be safe. Don't you worry about a thing. Hey. Uh, I love you too.